What's going on guys girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to a new era of opening, a new era of unboxing. This is my first ever Halo 5 Rec Pack opening unboxing video. We're going for three gold packs, triple charm, triple luck, triple jam here in this video. These packs are full of armor customization, they're full of weapons for Warzone, they're full of weapon mods, they're full of visors and helmets and all sorts of goodies including XP boosters. We'll start off with the bronze pack, but the main show, the big event, is going to be a triple jam unboxing opening uh, of gold packs, which are the highest, best packs you can get, plus the promotional packs that I got for being in the uh, the pre-release program and the collector's edition. These things are so much fun, and I know now why people love CSGO cases. I've got a vector helmet, a cypher helmet, those are my two pieces of gear, and you're more likely to get gear in the rare packs. The commons definitely don't have it, but you'll see I've got a lot of over shields, uh, fuel rod cannons, ghosts, um, some scorpions, and some random dice rolls. All of that stuff is for Warzone, but these right here are for my character across any multiplayer mode. I rolled the vector helmet for a while. 10,000 credits. These can't be bought with any sort of real money. You have to earn them in the game. 10,000 rec points is where the gold Gold standard uh, sets the bar, if you will. So many gold puns, it's way too easy, I'm sorry. But here we go with another gold pack opening. This time, we get some actual armor and a new visor color. So the Jumpmaster Ripcord gear, which is what I'm rocking right now in multiplayer. Ooh, a Ghost Ultra, love those ghosts. A stronger version of the Ghost, and that's something else that does uh, exist in Warzone, like stronger, better versions of weapons and vehicles. Um, an Ultra Rare random vehicle, those things can be dropped in for a limited number of rec points, and then potentially and probably give you something really really glorious that would normally cost a heck of a lot more. So we'll go into uh, customization here. Um, wanted to see if I was going to get back into multiplayer round. Decided instead to go and customize. There you go. You can see my guy. I, uh, I equipped it from the opening menu, which is just a smart thing. The fact that you can uh, equip your gear, your new stuff, straight from the card menu. This visor is super cool. You can see it's like iridescent, color-changing, rainbow. I love my emblem, by the way, the little pink robot guy. Charging his fist upwards for the Ghost Robo army. All right, third time's the charm. Let's see what we get in this one. Oh man, the confetti is such a great feeling and such a freaking nerve-wracking sensation. Lots of Hydra launchers, a Warrior Blade helmet. Uh, this pack, I don't think there's any Ultra Rares in here, but it will get us going with three times uh, the goodies. Uh, another Ghost Ultra, which is nice, random weapon, some XP boosts for... Uh, for war zone and you don't need any of this stuff you will get you know you'll earn enough rec points to get bronze packs uh, but you really want the rare packs and you really want as many of these cards as you can have uh, in order to fill up your coffers for war zone boost your arsenal this is the beta pack um, for playing the pre-release of stuff. I get uh, the beta stars and the star recruit badges um, and then a few basic uh, boosts and, and random vehicles and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure what the rarest stuff is. If you scroll through all the customization options, you can see like what has like three stars and what I assume is like the rarest of rare. And so when I pull those, I'm sure they'll be extra excited. Here's the advanced commercial pack uh, that has the Photos Chilros uh, armor set. That helmet is super awesome. Except for the giant horn, I feel like it's not very good at camouflaging. There's an ultra rare uh, gambit uh, metal count XP booster. Those XP boosters are really fun too because it's almost like rolling the dice there as well. Lots of like lotto systems here. Lots of like fun and, and random stuff that I think is super cool. Oh, I love it so much. It's super exciting to open those up. The game itself is great, which is what you need in order to make any of this stuff feel worth it. Uh, but let me know what you think of the rec packs. Are you excited for more? You want to see more videos like this? I could collect, you know, four or five. It takes a while to get 10,000 rec points to get a gold pack, but I could work my butt off uh, and make some more awesome videos and hopefully pull some sick sweet stuff for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure that thumbs up button if you want more Halo 5 action. Thank you so much for supporting this series across multiplayer campaign and now card openings. It brings me back to my Pokemon days and it's a heck of a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are having fun. Drink so much. Until next time. Thanks again. We will see you all later.